Hey folks, I'm back with another track guide. This week I'm at Daytona Road. Uh, I'm in the Ferrari and if you want to download my setup, my ghost car and my replay file, you can do that at findspeed.com forward slash track guides. It's going to be a great week of racing here this week. Daytona Road is always great value. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of fun to race. Uh, best of luck to you. I hope you go really well. Uh, let us know how you're getting on in the comments below. And don't forget, if you find it useful, please do give it a like. Please do subscribe to the channel for more of this kind of thing. Hit that little bell and you'll get notified when I release a new track guide or I live stream, which I often do on a Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday and a Sunday. Uh, and if you're feeling extra generous, you can hit that super thanks button just below this video right now. Or there's a link in the description for you to buy me a coffee and help support my track guides for future weeks. Uh, best of luck, guys. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you out there on the track at some point this week. Cheers. Okay, here we go with the breakdown of my 143.910 here at Daytona Road. I'm in the Ferrari. Race conditions as they are for this week of racing. We've got full race fuel. Uh, we're using my setup. Uh, and if you want to download the setup, my ghost car and this replay file, uh, you can do that at findingspeed.com forward slash track guides. Now we're approaching turn one and we've positioned ourselves as far out to the right as we as we can. And we're looking for this white line and the cones that start there uh, and we are going to break just as the cones start and we've angled, angled ourselves in slightly in towards the inside of the track we're not going to get tight to the inside um, but we obviously just need to start this process now um, because we can't use much steering angle when we're breaking at full threshold braking which we're which we're doing now so we're out towards the outside of the track. We've crossed over this middle section and we're now going to start coming out of the brakes. We've, we've done our full braking. We've burned off as much speed as we can. We're going to start coming down through the brake now. And we want to try and get tight to these, uh, this tire stack on the left hand side uh, near the pit lane. And then once we're here and we're tight, then we can start building up the accelerator and we're going to do that quite steadily because look, we've got 90 degrees on the steering lock here. Uh, so we've got to be steady on the accelerator. Nice slow build. And as that, as that wheel unwinds, we can build up that accelerator more. I'm just going to try and straight line this section here around the pit lane wall and move ourselves over to the left as quickly as we can. Now the braking marker on the left here is not super clear, but basically there's a skid mark and some kind of brown dirt just on the track here. And that's what I use as my gauge to start the braking. And we're gonna brake really heavily again, and we wanna come down to second gear. Now, 
we've started our turn in we're in second we're coming out of the brakes now and we want to pick up this curb reasonably tight to the inside and we really want to be stopping braking now and then building up very gradually again we went up to sort of 70 80 percent initially and then built it up and then we're coming down to this little kink which is turn five and we're going to use um this uh, kink in the white line on the right hand side as our marker there to turn in um it's it's deceptively tight this so if you're side by side it's going to get a bit hairy to say the least flat out round here and then we're looking obviously we're surrounded by cones here and just after the cones start uh we've got this sort of line across the track uh, and we're going to use that as our marker to break super heavily again back down to second gear again just like the previous corner we're going to take it quite similarly we're down to second we're about kind of mid track uh, at the moment we're following this line uh, in the track and we're going to um, pick up this inside curb again much the same way we want to be out of the brakes about now and then we're building up the accelerator and now i'm nice and tight to the inside and what this means is i don't need a great deal of steering angle now so i can really keep the hammer down um and you know after initial steady build we can really put the foot down which is quite important there and now we're looking for this little access road on the right and just as this starts we're going to start braking we're keeping the car positioned over to the right and really we want the right hand wheels to be on the yellow curb ahead we're down to second gear and then after those uh, after that yellow curb we want to pick up this yellow curb on the inside and we've come out of the brake quite quickly just to generate some rotation in the car and then at the end of this curb we're picking up the accelerator now again we've got quite a heavy steering lock at the moment so we can't put our foot down it's very very easy to lose the rears on this corner so we need to really build the accelerator steadily and try and minimize our steering angle as we're accelerating so i i was up to like 40 50 percent to begin with i'm up to about 75 percent now i'm starting to unravel the wheel and then we're up to full gas and then really we're just sort of minimizing our steering angle it's that trade-off between carrying as much speed as we can around that corner and making the corner and not hitting the wall um, and it takes it takes a little while to click into place uh, but the most important thing to remember is we need that steady build on the accelerator coming out of that exit uh, back onto the oval and when we're traveling around the oval we really want to be nice and tight to the inside here we don't want to be bouncing uh, off the line um, it's really going to unsettle the car it's going to slow you down so you want to get tight to that yellow line on the inside but you don't want to be touching it and then on the outside we're looking at the boards we've got the three the two and then between the uh two and the one we have this yellow sign here just after that i'm going to break heavily down to fourth initially and then we want to pick up the inside of the yellow curb here very easy to pick up off tracks around this part of the course uh, but basically we want to try and create the straighter line we can as possible between this curb and the next curb of the bus stop uh, so we're down to fourth now what i do here is i actually come down to third and this really really helps with rotating the car to, to get some turn in the car so down to third just briefly we've cut off as much of this curb as we can any more than this is, and it's an off track and then we're back up to fourth and we're building up the accelerator as soon as the car is settled off this curb here uh, in third gear we're back up to fourth and we're back into the accelerator but we must let the car settle here initially just as we start to build up the accelerator off track central around here but basically I've, I've took the best line i possibly can around there and then we're back onto the oval again to bring us round to the line uh, again just making sure we're near this yellow line but we're not bouncing off of it and slowing ourselves down 
So that is my 143.910 here at Daytona in the Ferrari. You can download my setup, my ghost car and my replay from funningspeed.com forward slash track guides. Uh, and if you enjoyed this guide, if you found it useful, please do give it a like. Please do subscribe to the channel for more of this kind of thing. Hit that little bell and you'll get notified with my new guides. And when I go live, I often stream live on a Thursday and a Sunday. Um, so please do come along and say hi. And if you're feeling extra, extra generous, uh, you can uh, hit that super thanks button uh, down just below this video on YouTube now. Or uh, you can buy me a coffee. There's a link in the description below to help support my track guides for the rest of the season. Thanks, folks. Best of luck on the track. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments below. And hopefully I'll see you out there on the track. Cheers. <laughs>